A Freedom Park in Lagos Island seemed like just the right setting to have this conversation about a man who spent a lifetime bringing wood to life. So a lot of great men turned out to honor him. This bull, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is coming out at a time we are all reflecting on our past with a view to showcasing our contributions to world civilization. Born in 1928 with the prophetic middle name Olonade, which means the carver has arrived, Lamidi is a fifth generation craftsman from the highly respected Fakeye family. She called out his names many times. Lamidi thought he must have done something wrong and was afraid that he was being called for punishment. Although we are more told eventually why the woman was looking for him, but Fakere in his old age had eight recalls, and I quote him. When she came to where I was and saw me carved, she said, Aha! Exactly what your name says you are. And they speak the language of a thousand years. So if the future demands to know our father's names, we shall trace our heritage to your memories house. Oh, be your garden of wondrous works. Paintings have breath. They beckon at the guests with efficient smiles. Carvings have mouths, and they salute the guests with royal paw. During his long career, he achieved great fame around the world as one of the greatest African artists of modern times. That's the reason art collector Yemisi Shilon and lecturer Dr. Ohioma Pogoson decided to do this veteran craftsman this honor. I made a commitment to him before he died. Three commitments. I'm fulfilling, fulfilling the last one today. I, I made him a commitment that I will exhibit him in Lagos. Uh, the second commitment was that I was going to be the largest collector of um, um, which I ended up with the world. I ended up collecting his work. The over 100 page book contains an interview with the late iconic wood cover about his career, work, and the untold story of life experiences. We are proud to be associated with these efforts in placing Nigerian visual culture on the world cultural map. The reason why I, I, I produced this book is to contribute to to scholar, scholarship about our art and the beauty of Nigerian art. Because Lamidi Fake represents a very important family from Milaorogun, uh, five generations of covers. The artist's image and his works greet you at the first glance of the hard-covered book, which features photographs of some of his 48 artworks in the Oyasaf collection. I wanted the world to know about Lamidi Fake, to read about Lamidi Fake from where he hails from, and not just from Kalamazoo, um, from uh, Washington DC, from California, and so on and so forth. Let us celebrate our own man, our own people. Lamidi Fake's career began at age 10 when he carved his first piece and began studying traditional Yoruba art under his father. To allow the pages come alive, some sculptural pieces were added to the Freedom Park in Lagos.